there's an anniversary of sorts coming up this week, and I've been thinking about this date approaching and my feelings about it. May 8th is three days away, and it was May 8th two years ago at 4 o'clock in the morning that my husband went into cardiac arrest. And while he didn't actually die until May 16th, I knew he wasn't coming back pretty much right from that very first day. So there's reasons that I've been dreading May 8th, but it's also caused me to think about the past two years and the ways in which God has worked to mitigate the grief to make my life as easy as he could make it. One of the things that's come to my mind is ways in which she sort of prepared me for this. The fact that um, when we moved to be near our daughter for the year, I had the sense that we weren't just moving so I could help out at school that was in need of a chemistry teacher, but that God was putting us close to our daughter and son-in-law for the year for some other reason, and I didn't know what it was. Well, looking back, being near that when Bill passed away meant I had wonderful support. They were just very good to me during that time period. But it also made me think about something that happened decades ago that, in a sense, prepared me. In 1966, when I was only 21, I was thinking about my future life, something people at that age often do. And I thought, <clears throat> maybe I'll get married, but maybe I won't. There wasn't anybody that I could see on the horizon at that point. And so I thought about women that I knew who had spent their life single, and some of them had lived their lives in very positive ways and others in very negative ways. And so they were just waiting for life to happen to them. And so I, I promised God at that point that if I was single, I would move forward in a positive way and I would be joyful and productive. So it occurred to me after I lost Bill that I was going to have to keep that promise that I had made decades before. And so that's what I've attempted to do over the last two years. And I can see ways in which God has blessed my life, ways he's brought new friendships, new people into my life, ways in which I might have been able to help someone situations that wouldn't have happened if I was still part of a couple. So as I approach the two-year mark, yes, I am still grieving, but there's gratitude mixed in with the grief. What a strange and interesting combination of grief and gratitude.